Hello everybody, welcome to another episode from Normandy Junction of building the RMS Titanic. This is part two. Uh, apologies I've not uploaded in a while, uh, considering what's been happening in the UK at the moment. We've been battered by storms and considering I live on a coastal town, we've had a bit, a bit of damage here. So, like I say, apologies it's been taking so long, but obviously family life has to take priority. But here we are with part two. So let's get started. So today... In, well, in part one, should I recap? We did frames one to seven. This is the center of the ship. Here we go. So frames one to seven, for going to the bow and going to the stern. So today we are going to work on frames eight to 49. Now, this section can be quite easy to do because section frames eight, nine or 10 are a different size, but the frames from eight to 49 um, so I apologise then, but the frames from 11 to 49 are, to, are all the same, so they can be copied and pasted, but I'm still trying to figure that out on an Xbox One in Minecraft. So if anybody knows how to do copy and paste uh, any objects in Minecraft, Minecraft, please send me a message or send me a link to any description, it will be very much appreciated. So let's get started, so we're going to start with frame number 8, so we can start with the keel. So let's join that up and then do another two layers above it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four there. And obviously when you're on the top of the frame, you can put that there. Okay, so that is our basically our, you know, as I said before, in between each frame is three blocks. There's one frame, one, two, three, one block, one, two, three, one block, one, two, three. Okay, so I might as well here join the entire frame uh, keel up from one block to do so. Just bear with me. I'll just do that now. Actually, one more about let's get on with this, my view. Hang on, bring on a second. So, right, here we go, frame eight. So, when you get up to the uh, third row from the bottom, from the top, okay, on the low section, you're going to go out 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, basically, lines up with this one. So, you can change that there just for reference. Next one up. Is 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Once again, it joins up. Okay, and obviously, while you're doing that as well, you can also join them up if you wish, tell it to you. So, I might as well do it now. Okay, so the third one up is a 14. So, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 13. 14. As, as, and once again, what you do in the frame is smooth stone you use, and I just use these yellow concrete as references. Okay? So, like I said, this is the frame of the lower hull. Now, this next section here is where it's going to be different. Here, as you can see, there's nine. Okay? One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. But we're going to put down seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then going up is seven lots of twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then when you get to the seven, it's the seven one. Change this one here to a sea lantern. Okay? I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, so now we have to go upwards 18. Okay, but also as well, what you need to do, not going up from there, you need to just add another two at the top and take away that one there. Okay, so you're going 18 upwards, and this counts as one, so that's one, two, three, four. So I'll get three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So it matches up with this sea lantern here. Okay. Then you go one across. And for reference as well, what you can do here, which I'll do personally, but in one second, you get your sea lantern again. Just put it on there. Okay, smooth stone. This just goes all the way up to the top to the B deck. So we go all the way up here. Straight to the top. Basically, to your line with B deck, which I think we'll cut up to in a second. 
Yes, here we go. So you line up with this sea lantern. Join them up. Place this one with the sea lantern. Just one out to the right there. Well, as you're facing it to the right. So we're coming out as a two, but one to sea lantern as well. I mean, you can be anything you want, but I like to use the sea lanterns. It's a good reference point for me. And then we go straight to the top of the boat deck. And end with a sea lantern. So as you come down, so that's frame number eight. As you go down, you can see here there's going to be areas here which we need to fill in with another sea lantern, and also you can join them up as well if you wish. But I like to do it all at the end, like that. Okay. So just for now, we're just going to get the frames in. Okay. And also as well with the lower keel, go up. There, smooth stone going across the center of the ship. Same at top as well. Remember, it's one, two, three. Always a gap of three between each frames. You know, right there, and you can always join these right across. So let's join them up now. Huh. Okay, another thing you can do as well while well, while we're on the job is add your crimson planks, the red ones, and start through the outer side for the outer hull. I'm still up to there to now, so we'll get on to the next one, get the next one done. There we go. So it's going up like a stair type of effect. All the way up. And when you get to the sea lantern, use the big gap. Obviously, there'll be another sea lantern there. There, until we get to the top, which will be grey concrete. Okay, so I'll finish that off in a moment. Let's get to the next frame. Alright, so this is number nine now. So, once again, get your smooth stone. Add two layers of four. Replace the one above number nine got there and we're going out once again 18 now obviously we've got a reference point here so it'll be pretty easy to follow there we go make sure it's lined up nicely that's that's 18 okay next one up 11 make sure it's lined up and then 14 Go. So that's 14. Now the top one is going to be 6. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then going upwards, we need a 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay. And then going upwards again, we need 6 lots of 2s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And as it gets to the last one, Sea lantern, take that away, put that on. Okay, so it's always one in. Okay, now obviously we need to go over now again. So, as I said before, do another two, but delete this block here, and you're going up 18, which is about there, so that's level. Okay, place your sea lantern just on the outside. And once again, you make your way all the way up to the top, as we do now. Ooh. So like I say, if everybody knows how to copy and paste objects in Minecraft, please, it would be a big help. I don't know if they do it on Xbox One these days. I know I've been suggested will edit in PC, but I don't run off a of PC. I do this all on an Xbox One. I say any help would be very much appreciated. So like I say, once we get up to B deck, top of B deck, join the two up there, go out one then another one with a sea lantern should start calling it sl make it shorter go to the top of the boat deck and put another sea lantern on and just join it up okay so that's pretty much frame number nine get down to the bottom here and i'll see do the inside keel as well Okay, apologies for the jump up there. I have to say, I'm limited to 10 minutes of recording. 
I totally forgot I was quite over that 10 minutes on the Xbox. Right, so we're still on frame 9. So I say we just need to build up to the top. So I join these up the keel. And just got by two. Put our yellow block, concrete block there. And we just join these two lines up here. Like I say, the rest of the frame is pretty much ex self explanatory, so should I say. So let's join up from the middle there. And work our way across. Now, as of why there's a big gap on the bottom here from, from the top there, which is G decks, because these are the boiler rooms, and they did take up quite a lot of space in the lower hole of the Titanic. So like I say, I will be joining these frames across, but not until the end of the video. Because I say, there's no point doing it now. Because the same, my last video was quite a long time, so this is a case of speeding up the process so you know what to do. Okay? So now we're on to frame 10. So once again, just do two lines of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Place the middle one here with a yellow concrete block. And once again, we're going out 18. So let's drag this across here. Place the end one with a yellow one. So make sure it's lined up. There you go. Next one up is, is, is 11. Right across. And after 11, it is 14. With a yellow block at the end. Now the next one, this is where it changes again because the last one was 6. This is now going to be 5. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and then we're doing two lots of 3. So that's one, two, three. One, two, three. And then you're going to do five lots of twos. So that's one, two, three, four out of five. And obviously, obviously remove the end one there and put your sea lantern in. You can see it's joined up quite nicely. Okay, so that's pretty much that's that frame done. But as before, we need to go upwards. So you add another two. Remove the end middle one. And then you go up 18, which is straight up to here. So that joins up nicely. Another sea landing on the sea lantern on the outside. Okay. And then we just go straight to the top of the boat deck. Okay. There we go. Hey, if anyone's got any questions about my build or any particular comments you want to make, feel free to put a comment section. And also if you, you like it, please give it a like. And if you want to subscribe, please subscribe as well if you want to continue this journey with me. Like I say, it's pretty much all done in my spare time because I pretty much am a family man and a working man like us all. So free time <laughs> when you get later on in life is very limited. But I do want to continue this build because I am enjoying it quite a lot. Okay, so we're up to the top of the boat deck. Let's join it up. There we go. So it is like slowly starting to take shape now. So as you can see here, to show you where the difference is this is when you see the section start to go inwards if you follow the smooth stop box there i'll just come over here this is the section we're doing here let's see i put some plaques on it there's nine, eight and nine about there is ten this is what we're working on the sort of slant inwards so let's get back over to the build let's go 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 power rangers Okay, and obviously start in the centre of the keel. Okay, raise above, yellow concrete, join up. Same above, remember, one, two, three. Yellow box there. And just join up these two here. Okay, and now the top one. go so that's frame frame number 10 done there we go. look at it very good right frame 11 so we'll go again so no line of four line of four get rid of the end one put yellow yellow concrete block down as we'll do the keel now was we join upwards yellow block one two three and here's our one two three I mean, I could go straight down there, but I'll do that later. Right, so here we go again. So once again, it is 18. Here we 
take you out. Or a yellow block at the end. Second row up now is 11. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yellow block at the end. There we go, join up nicely. And then it's 14. There we go, yellow block at the end. Now the next stage is you're going to do five lots of three. So say again, five lots of three. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five lots of three. And then you do three lots of two. One, two, three. And once again, replace the inside one with a sea lantern. And going upwards again is 18. But they say do a two. Get rid of that one. So that's your one. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And a seam lantern on the outside. Now I'm gonna leave it here. Because as I say, all you need to do is go straight to the top. No, let's do it now. Come on, let's get it done. Now from this point on, frame eleven all the way up to 49 is exactly the same okay so this is why i would love to learn know how there's a copy and paste me method in minecraft for the xbox one so please if any of your clever clogs out there let me know because like i say i'm still pretty much a beginner on minecraft okay and this was the probably when i say sorry normandy junction that there is no way to do it and i'm like no Okay, so like I say, this is frame 11. Okay, we'll leave it there. So every frame from now on is going to be exactly the same, all the way up to number 49, which I've marked here at the end with yellow brick. Okay, so what I'll do now, I'll do number 49 now as a reference. And it's just a case of copy and repeat, which is... Really fun to do. <laughs> okay, so we're going 49. I'll just fix this one here. There we go, smooth stone. Right, so we start. Remember? Not at the bottom, at the top there. So we go out 18 sets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yellow block there. I mean, what you could do at this stage is just go straight to the end there and, mark, and join them all up. Make sure it's all correct. In fact, I'll do that now. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep it going, keep going, and keep going. Ah, oh, fun. And we're locked up. Right, okay, so we're in. We're basically, we're aligned, basically. Right, so after 18, it is 11. So that's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Next one of that is a 14. 1, 2, oh, excuse me. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And after 14, it's five lots of three. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. And after the fifth one, you do two, three lots of two. So that's one, two, three. Replace the middle one with a sea lantern. Go inwards by, put another two at the top, but get rid of the inner one, and you go up by 18. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Just check my time. And welcome back again. The 10 minutes were up again. Right, okay, so once you've done 18, scene lantern on the outside. And after that, we go all the way up to the top of B deck. But what I'll need to do here to make sure it is aligned is I'm going to go over to here and basically draw out all the way up to the other end. 
So like I say, I'm going in segments. Like I say, I have to do a couple of frames at a time, guys. So please bear with me when making these videos. We want to make sure it is absolutely right. Okay. And it's nice to work on the Titan as well, but as well as play other games like playing Fortnite as well. Another one of my favorites, the Laris. Really good strategy, science fiction game. Would, would recommend it. Right, yes, yeah, so we are aligned, so we're all in shape. So let's place a sea lantern at the top. Once again, we get a smooth stone, one out. Smooth stone, uh, sea lantern again, apologize. And then we work our way up to the top of the boat deck, which I'll join up again here as we fly over there. So it is going to be a bit repetitive, guys. So that's how I felt while I was building the thing. <laughs> Hey hell, this is the scale. Past it yet? No, we're not there yet. Okay, here we go. So let's link up there and we are done. So like I say from now, what you have to do is basically this section here, you have to copy this procedure from frame 11 to 49 so that's at least 39 frames you have to do as the same so what I'll do now is I'm going to do a jump cut I will finish it off now and also you can connect connect the other frames as well like I say it's just a bit of a repetitive, repetitive process but this is only just one side as well so I'll be back in a moment and we're back in the room and here we go as you can see I have now completed frames 8 to at least 48 okay and it's been a drag guys for you if it's only been a couple of seconds for me it's been a couple of days but hey ho we had there done there I'm gonna finish you here on frame 49 okay but I just want to show you what has been done so far exterior ones and this is how, looking at the Titanic here, we're facing forward. Yep, from the port side. As I say, that way is facing aft. Okay, so, I mean, it's gonna get a bit interesting now for, like I said, this is just from frames eight to 49. It's just a repetitive process, but now we're getting to the interesting bit as it starts to carve inwards. I'll just show in the inside. As I say, from the boat deck, to G deck I've done the frames as well as well as the interiors I'm just gonna fill in now towards the end now so what you need is deep slate brick stairs why well, use deep slate brick stairs I would just need to fill the bottom here to go all the way across the bottom of the keel that's how you do get a lot of interruptions as well when you work on an Xbox one Hell, only one man. So I do appreciate the patience of everybody. And also the comments as well. I'm starting to get suggestions and questions, which is great. So I say, once you've done the keel, there you go. So on this next level here, I use your crimson planks. Just go straight across the bottom, all the way up to the yellow, yellow concrete brick. And you just start working way on. Basically, you're just going along the smooth stone. You're filling it all in. Two, two, two. And just single ones on here. And I'll see when you get to the end, it's one above there. Go straight to the top. But as I say, once you reach the sea lantern, you put a red concrete on top of it. Okay. And then the next couple of lines is crimson planks again, followed by red concrete and crimson planks again but once you get to about here basically the third one up put a grey concrete down and the rest is terracotta well I use black terracotta I mean if you want to use pure black that's fine but I did struggle to see as well because it does get quite a bit daunting there we go black terracotta Okay, eventually you'll come to the yellow line, which is just above the this sea lantern here, which is just the start of sea deck, sea for Charlie. 
So you get a yellow concrete. But as I say, on the one, the Titanic, as you see on there, it's just below the upper decks, the upper structure. But the Olympic was this a little lower. I mean, you can see it on photographs as well, because uh, one comment I got was, uh, you know, what's the difference? You know, I'm building the Titanic, I'm building the Olympic. Could I build, show you how to build Titanic? Well, the Titanic and the Olympic were the exact same ship. Exactly the same. There are minor details which are different, but the majority of the ship is exactly the same. So we're up to A deck here. You don't fill underneath in just yet. You can join them up. There you go. Go straight to the top of the boat deck and finish off. But it's not over for me yet. Oh no. Now after you completed it, what we need to do now is the aft side. Same numbers again, frames 8 to 49. So you have to repeat the whole process again, starting from the start of the video, going aft. So I'm going to do it. It might take me a few more days. So like I say, due to the pure, beautiful, beautiful nature of editing, we're going to spare you that. So I'll be back, hopefully, soon. And I'm back, folks. As you can see, I've now completed the port side of the stern as we face towards the bow here so let's have, let's have another look so this is what it'll look like from the completion of frames 8 to 49 Oof, took a, a couple more days as we go forward to the bow here so i say i do appreciate all your patience but it has taken a long time to do all this especially on an xbox one and obviously family life comes first but I will be breaking down the next couple of frames now into individual videos because as you can see we're approaching the inwards curves and each one is very different and complicated so rather than do it all in one batch I'm gonna work in segments so as you can see here at the bottom in the next video I will be doing the next 12 frames so let's just give us an inward shot yeah, so like I say, I'm only going to do one side. So I've been thinking about this. I'm going to leave it as one side. I think it would be pretty interesting to do. Of the Olympic. I'm sorry, guys, I am going to go for the Olympic. Because I've already done, I'm already building the Titanic. It makes sense to do the Olympic. Because it's pretty much the same design as the Titanic. I did think about the Britannic. But I do like the Olympic. I don't know. There's something about that show I just like. But I will be doing the interior rooms as well for you. But I say some rooms are different on the other side. You just need to be aware of that as well. So like, for example, the swimming pool, which I'm currently building here on the Titanic, is on the starboard side, but I'm just building the port. So we have missed out on that, guys. There are different rooms on different sides. But pretty much everything is symmetrical. Which is Right, I'm going to leave it here. So, like I say, if you want to, uh, if you like to use this build as a downloadable project or to be used in your own YouTube videos, please feel free. I don't mind you using it at all. But I would appreciate if you give a mention or a shout out of the Normandy Junction channel. I mentioned in your videos or just a shout out because it would be very much appreciated, guys, because it is taking a lot of time to build this. Uh, it's just for a little bit of credit as well. Okay, so, and if you like the channel, please subscribe, or if you'd like to leave a like on the video, please do, it does help the channel a big lot. So, as I say, a special thank you to all my current subscribers, it does mean a lot to me, and does help help the channel grow. I think the last time I checked, we're up to 185 subscribers, which I think is, to me, that's amazing. But like I say, for all these, all these other YouTube channels, I've got millions and millions of subscribers, but I'm quite happy with the number I have, and you guys are awesome. So until next time, guys, this is Normandy Junction. I bid you all a farewell.